I tell you what, doing this at five in the morning is no fun. And just like that, we are back. Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope everybody enjoyed the holidays. I know I sure did, and I know my stomach sure did. So, uh, basically, I know I put on a bunch of weight. I enjoyed a lot of food. I enjoyed the fact that I got to relax a little bit, take it easy at the gym. Not that I didn't go. I just didn't go as often, and I didn't push myself as hard during the holidays. Uh, but I know it's time to get right back to it. So, what I'm actually going to do for you in this video is... I'm going to do a seven day challenge. Uh, it's going to be a at home hit routine workout. Uh, I'm going to have all the, all the exercises for you and I'll have them listed, uh, the times and uh, the variations and what we're going to be doing. And uh, basically we're going to see if I can get this done. But uh, first I guess I'm going to have to jump on the scale. I don't, I don't want to do that. But here we go. Okay. So we're going to come over here. Let's see here, hop on this thing. One eighty five point six. Good God. Okay, so I basically from October to now I am up about twelve pounds. So we'll see what we can do with that. All right, stay tuned. Well, good morning everyone. Today is the day, day one of the seven day challenge. I'm all warmed up. I got my water, so let's get into it. So this is gonna be a beginner 20 minute hit workout. You're gonna do each of the exercises on the screen for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna repeat the same exercises for the second round. First exercise we're gonna be doing is jumping jacks. These are self-explanatory. And the next one we're going to be doing is burpees. You're going to be going all the way down to a plank push-up position, and then you're just going to jump straight up. After that, we're going to be doing 30 seconds of push-ups. This can get a little tough, so if you need to, you can actually go down to your knees and then continue on. After that, we're going to be doing jump rope. So you're just going to be holding an imaginary jump rope while you do this. If you'll notice in between each set, I'm doing a lot of water drinking. So here you're going to be doing mountain climbers. You're just going to be bringing your knee up to your chest and repeating alternating knees. And then here is just a 30 second plank hold. And then from here we go high knees. You should be breathing pretty heavy by now. After that, we got crab toe touch. And we got squats here. Some people like to do squats with their hands behind their head. I like to keep my hands out in front. We have crunches. This is the last exercise in our cycle. You can do it behind your head or you can be reaching out in front. And I like that so I don't feel like I'm pulling on the back of my neck. And then you go for more for round two. Uh, well, okay. That does it for day one. Not gonna lie. Kind of kicked my butt a little bit. I'm feeling a little out of shape, but uh, I'm sure it'll get easier as the week goes on. So get ready for day two. Thanks.
And there you have it. Day two in the books. Still a little tiring. Felt super good though. It's gonna get better. We'll see you tomorrow. And just like that, we are done with day three. Oh, I feel so much better than I did on the very first day. It's getting better. I can actually feel the way that I'm moving. I haven't jumped on the scale, but I can feel by the way I'm moving. I've definitely dropped a little bit of weight. So I'm excited to see what I look like and what the weight is at the end of day seven. All right, I'll see you for day four. Day four through seven was pretty much the same. I didn't really want to have to bore you with uh, the same repetitive video and the same workout over and over again. So we're just gonna skip that part and we'll go on to the good stuff. All right, so before we go to weighing myself, I wanna do a full disclosure here on what I did for this week. So not only did I do the seven day HIIT workout challenge, I was also drinking um, this detox tea. Uh, it's like a belly fat burner detox drink and I was drinking it every morning. Um, if you wanna know what that's about, uh, there's a video uh, I have linked down in the description. It's pretty powerful. Um, it's something that you just drink every morning and there's a full video on how to make it and how often you do it and whatnot. So I'll go ahead and link it down in the description for you. So I was doing that along with the workout for the entire seven days. Here we go, it's time to weigh in. Uh, okay, let's see what this says. One seventy seven point six. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good result for seven days. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I definitely know I worked my butt off. But uh, like I said, uh, I think this is something that uh, you guys can do too. <sighs> I feel a lot better now. I feel a lot better. Okay, so... For this workout challenge, um, I actually got some pretty good results. And this is considered more of a beginner workout, and that's because you were allowed to rest 30 seconds in between 30 seconds of work. Uh, the more advanced you get, it's gonna go more like 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, up to 40 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. That's pretty advanced. Um, so this one was more of a beginner and I still got good results. I did choose this particular type of workout because I wanted to do something that you could do at home. This is just something you can do in your living room. I moved my coffee table out of the way and basically I set up my timer and I had my list of uh, exercises and I just went to town. Uh, during this challenge I also maintained a fairly clean diet. Uh, clean meaning I kind of eliminated all the uh, sugars uh, I don't really eat too much sugar anyways, but I just made sure that I uh, I didn't have any during the week, uh, except for the one setback was the Friday before weigh-in. Today is Saturday, I weighed in this morning. Yesterday, there was a work pizza party, and uh, for all the January birthdays, I have a January birthday, so I kind of had to take part in that. I did have two slices of pizza and one piece of cake. Uh, I can only imagine what my weight would have been this morning had I not done that but even though I still indulged in the pizza and cake I still was able to lose eight pounds pretty good I'm still happy with that so you know uh, along with uh, like I mentioned earlier there is the belly fat detox drink that seemed to work pretty well for me 
Uh, so I drank that every morning. Now, if you guys are just starting on your uh, fitness journey, or maybe you're just coming back from a little layoff, don't let this seven day challenge be the end of it, okay? This is just something that you wanna do to kickstart your weight loss or your fitness journey. You wanna keep moving on from there. Do something else, look up more videos, try different exercises. If you go to the gym or if you have a gym membership, continue to go there too, but don't give up. I will personally be doing a couple more videos so you can follow along with those two in the future and we'll make them a little bit harder and maybe I'll hit some specifics, uh, maybe some stuff for abs. I'll do stuff for upper body, stuff for lower body. Uh, so be on the lookout for those as well. Um, but either way, I wish you all good luck in your fitness journey. So for this video uh, and this workout, what the hell's wrong with me? I can't talk today. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I guess it's time to weigh in. Is that a question? Let's walk this off. This is what I do when I don't remember what I have to say. Hey you, I got two more videos for you to check out. Come on, do something. Pick one of them. You know you want to. It's good for you.